Hello, and welcome to LinkedIn and Chill with me, Sophie, from sexwithsophie.com, where I teach people how to talk to each other about sex, and my baby Day, who is having a little sleep, thank goodness, because she has been up and up and up our last few, which is fun, <laughs> but um uh, yeah, she's going to be one years old in a few weeks, which is crazy to me. So she's definitely got that one-year-old energy, which is awesome. Um, it is Thursday, which means we just have a couple more days left in uh, Asexual Awareness Week. We are also in LGBTQ History Month. And so uh, today we're going to be talking about... Uh, ace icons or icons of asexuality and that's going to be um kind of in between our puzzles that we do for linkedin uh let's see so as you're coming on just know that you can enter you can interrupt me anytime uh i'm here basically just to provide a space um for you to call in or uh, chat with me in the comments about anything that's on your mind regarding um, the topics I have listed up here or just about the daily topic or about asexuality, which is our kind of focus this week, um, or really just anything that's on your mind. Uh, I'm not a debater. I am not a, uh, a person here who's trying to argue with you. I really am interested in your point of view and why you might have come to some of the positions that you did so feel free to give me a buzz and let's have a chat or a discussion um yeah so <laughs> um let's get into our first puzzle but before we do um I want to talk about some asexual characters or uh celebrities I guess you could say of history um, now, even though the term asexual was, was pretty much coined back in 1896, been around for a while, it wasn't until like the late 1960s that it really became the, uh, the defining term for having a lack of sexual attraction that it is today. Um, so we can only really infer, <laughs> uh, we can only really kind of infer about just where um, people uh, may have been in their orientations back in the day. But just to kind of give you a little rundown of some of my favorites. And let's see, I have a little list here. I thought I did. Where's my list? I'm usually a little bit more prepared, guys. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay. So it is presumed, according to the fact that they either never married or part of their writing uh, or just the way they live their lifestyles or uh, how they... Uh, presented themselves, it's assumed that some of these people in history are asexual and or aromantic. Um, so you got J.M. Barry, who created Peter Pan, uh, George Bernard Shaw, who's a playwright. Uh, we have Florence Nightingale, who was a famous nurse. H.P. Lovecraft, um, who created an entire genre of horror. Uh, Let's see. I am a big fan of Emily Bronte, who is a poet. I don't even like poetry, and I love it. I love me some Bronte. Uh, Isaac Newton, who's a physicist. Um, and then the final one I'll lift up is Nikola Tesla. And I really love uh, that he kind of was almost an asexual <laughs> like pioneer way back in the day. Um, because he was really ostracized for not having a wife 
Like that was the thing. Like you had to be married and you had to be Christian and you had to be all these set things. Um, so he lived in like the 1870s and he was like, I'm, I'm not going to get married. I, I don't feel that way. I'm not, I don't feel that way towards women. I don't think he ever had sex. Um, so he was just a person who li- kind of lived kind of openly as an asexual without actually having the, the language for it. So I thought that was pretty fascinating. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move into our first LinkedIn puzzle, which is going to be cross climb. Cause again, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's just the easiest one. So if you have any thoughts on anybody that I may have missed, who's a asexual icon of history, please let me know again. Um, Leave a comment or give me a call anytime if you want to chit chat about sexy times. Um, Yeah, because this is just the open space for you, especially if you're in like uh, China or Hong Kong or on the eastern side of the world where you're actually awake. It's very much early morning where I am, which means it's even earlier morning uh, like in America. So just uh, letting you know. I only speak English, unfortunately, but I'm very happy to speak with anybody uh, to get some differing perspectives. All right, so cross climb, we're going to answer these fairly simple questions to try to find how the letters shift across these clues. Um, So what is someone who, or or what someone does to drink liquid through a straw? You sack. A landform that's similar to, but smaller than a mountain. A landform that's similar to a peak or something? I don't know. The Incredible Hulk. Freaking love that guy. To be mopey is to sulk. Main body of a ship is a hull. Oh, this is stupid. A hill. All right, so now we can put these in order. Oh, Hulk, Sulk, Suck. So now we have the top and bottom clue being a bird that quacks and a term for that bird's beak. So we have a duck bill. There you have it. Cross climb, everybody. <laughs> Just the stupidest silliest things I mean sometimes sometimes very rarely and occasionally it can be kind of challenging but um yeah that one was not I did get stuck on hill so I can't say anything um so now let's move into uh some fictional asexual characters um some of these are not you know super explicit like, I know there's uh, a specifically asexual character in the show Sex Education, which I have to watch because I provide sex education. So I am remiss, I know. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But some kind of con- um, some confirmed fictional asexual uh, icons would be Todd from Bojack Horseman, uh, Pavardi from Outer Worlds, which is a game. Uh, Jughead from Archie Comics from so that's an older uh, comic from maybe the 1960s or 50s even and um, so it's kind of cool that he's always been uh, I don't know asexual Pax from the Deed of Paxinarian novels and then people speculate there's no there's not been a confirmation but um, Doctor Who is a really big asexual character, except I think with the uh, shooty, um, with the shooty ones, the new ones, they've given him a love interest in one of the episodes. So um, I'm not too sure. He was very obviously sexually attracted. He's like very obviously homosexual as a shooty gatwa. Um, so that I don't know if that counts anymore. Um, but canonically, I guess Doctor Who is very ace. Uh, Sherlock, or Sherlock Holmes, Spongebob, <laughs> although I don't think, you know, they really get into that too much. Um, Lillian in the Go Get a Roomie web comics uh, was called asexual by other characters at one point, okay. 
Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory, which we kind of talked about yesterday when we were talking about like what asexuality is not. And um, so just to kind of take a second on that, um, I, I highly disagree with the way that autism and ADHD and strangeness and weirdness and offness and otherness is associated with, you know, how people present an asexual character. Because as a black woman, like I'm so used to fictionalized black women characters always being the, "Mm mm-hmm, uh-huh girl, or either being the best friend or, you know, it's always like a trope. And so I feel like the trope for asexuality is, 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 lack of emotion sociopathy in a way like the good doctor um he's uh i think per, you know portrayed as being ace and it's like you know okay but you know asexual people can be uh vibrant and and love to dress well and have, be funny like you know anyway so that's my two cents um l and light from death note are both ace which is I totally agree with that. I, I definitely think so. Katniss from Hunger Games. Um, and that's just some of the Merida from Brave and Elsa from Frozen because they didn't have like princes, um, which is cool. So those are some fictional asexual characters, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, in some regards, again, I have I take issue with some of the tropes, but otherwise, yeah, it's okay. Um, so let's move into our second puzzle, which is pen points. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Um, so let's start this one off with hot. You're trying to find the link between the different clues. And again, feel free to interrupt me at any time. I'm just here to, again, provide space for you to um, call in or comment if you have questions or thoughts about uh, asexuality, sex, sexuality. Um, or if you want to talk puzzles, like I met a really cool, uh, another Sophie from Hong Kong who we had a whole discussion about uh, star battles, which is amazing. So yeah, let's just get through pinpoint because again, it's my third favorite. So second least favorite uh, LinkedIn game. <laughs> so what's the clue to hot? I don't know. Looks. Steel, hot pocket, <laughs> blue steel, I don't know, blue, boiler, hot steel, boiler room, sauce, Lice of hot plates, well that was a little challenging, okay have a lot on your plate they just get the the last ones are like gimme's that took a a bit of guessing that was great I really like the New York Times game connections because it really has a good it does a good job of like making like pinpoint but harder because you have four different sets of uh clues that you're trying to get so check that out if you get a chance it's really really fun um, let's see. So while we set up our next puzzle, which will be Tango, let me tell you about some modern ace people. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Somebody's waking up a little bit. All right. Let me find my list that I had. Okay. So some modern or living uh, asexual and aromantic icons include uh, Paula Poundstone, who is uh, a comedian, uh, Tim Gunn, who's a fashion designer. He's awesome. Uh, let's see. We've got David Archuleta, who's a singer. Um, Janine Garofalo, who is, oh my God. That's just a remote. I'll get it later. Sorry about that. I don't want to move her too much. Uh, Janine Garofalo, who I love, 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 love her. Loved her forever. Um, she's a comedian. 
and she's just super funny super dry humor <clears throat> and then I guess finally we'll say uh, Michaela Cole um, she is a romantic and I, I love her she's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life she was in a um, TV show called uh, Black Earth Rising I want to say uh, amazing show just great actress she was in uh, Black Panther 2 I thought she was actually going to be Black, the Black Panther but she was just a supporting character um, but I, I love her she's amazing so yeah check out Michaela Cole and um, if you know of any other modern living asexual celebrities and icons throw them out there let me know I'm very curious uh, to who I can refer people to so yeah let's go ahead and move on to tango and again you're trying to get an even amount of stars and or sorry moons and suns across each row and across uh, each column you can have uh, two in a row but no more and if you see the X symbol you have to have an opposite sign on the other side like here and if you see the equals you have to have the same symbol um, so since there's three moons you gotta have three suns in this column uh, we have two let's see two here we can't have two in a row so we know that's got to be a sun can't have two in a row plus we have three suns in this column so everything else has to be moons so that's going to be the opposite that's going to be the same that's got to be different that's got to be different and then we need another moon for this column also you can have two in a row uh let's see what else we can infer uh let's see we need oh we can't have two in a row that's got to be a moon so that's the sun oh she's snoring so sweet can't have two in a row so that's got to be a sun can't have two in a row those ha both have to be moons <laughs> oh my god that's so cute we need another sun to finalize this row can't have two in a row can't have two in a row um, let's see so we need another moon for this column need another Sun for this row <laughs> she's really snoring <laughs> need another moon need a Sun and then we're done can you hear her Chris I love this sweet baby. He's on the phone. Sorry. So let's go and set up queens. And while we do that, I want to talk about one final um, modern day living asexual uh, icon. And her name is Yasmin Benoit. I think is how we say it. Uh, she's a model and a writer and an activist. Um, she's out of the UK, which is where I live, which is great. Um, and also she uh, is who was like the parade master for uh, Pride in the UK this year. And um, the amount of hate that she received an exclusion from the LGBTQ community that she received was so crazy to me. Um, it's insane to me. It's almost like lesbians and gay people who hate on trans people. It's like, no, it's the same collective babies. It's to us LGBTQIA+, and the A is for asexuality, aromanticism, and agender. So to say that you don't count you know, when you're already a marginalized group and you're specifically in those acronyms because of your marginalization, it's insane to me. So I, I love that she she persevered, led uh, Pride anyway, did a spectacular job. Um, being a model and dressing very uh, sexily and beautifully, people 
again, I think because of the way that the trope around asexuality is presented, um, people are like, oh, if you if you're really ace, like questioning <laughs> her orientation, you know, how is it that you can dress so sexy? You know, it's like, you know, I don't know. I just I love that she's breaking that barrier. So I just wanted to lift her up kind of separately and specifically because of what she had to face um, in representing the LGBTQIA plus 2S LGBTQIA plus community. So good for her and uh, good for everybody because, I th again, you know, once you raise the tide, all the ships rise. So, you know, what you do to one, you do to all <laughs> to take a Q term, I guess. Um, so yeah, Yasmin Benoit. And with that, that's my sort of final thought on ace icons, uh, just that we can do a lot better by them, I believe, especially with the way that we fictionalize uh, and stereotype um, ace people. So yeah, if you have any thoughts on that, definitely feel free to chime in, give me a buzz, uh, leave a comment. Make sure you follow so that you can um, watch these back later at an appropriate time if you're in America, because I think it's just hitting, just hitting six o'clock in the morning there. Um, so yeah, let's wrap up with Queens. And then I think Baby Girl will allow us to do a few star battles, which are just like Queens, but they're the, the name that uh, they're called before linkedin sort of rebranded them so yeah the goal is to get uh one crown in this mm -hmm. case in each colored shape and in each row and in each column and they can't touch so some of the rules that apply uh for these one star puzzles or one crown puzzles apply for sorry mm -hmm apply for any amount of stars you're looking for. So for instance, in the leftmost two columns, you have two complete shapes. Mm -hmm. So since you have to have a crown in each shape and in each column, you can't have uh, anything else outside of these two shapes and these two columns. Um, the same goes for now, this square and this little three point L now since that yellow shape has been reduced to the three squares. Mm -hmm. um, so now orange can only be in this column, so we can't have anything else in that column. Now the uh, gray outside of these two shapes can go. We know that gray can only be in this column, so we or that row, so we might as well go ahead and take away all of the rest of it. Okay, and now what we can do is look at um, our little shapes. So with this uh, little three point shape, you can't have a crown here because it would eliminate the whole thing. We can't have a crown here because it would eliminate this whole brown shape. Um, and if we look at now the rows, we have two shapes in this two row region. So we can't have anything outside of those two squares there. Oh gosh, it's like making me drag it. So now we found our first crown, which is gonna be the green. So we could take everything away that's in its column, in its row and surrounding it. We've got our pink, take away everything in its row in its column and surrounding it. We've got our teal, take everything away around it and its row and in its column. So that leaves our brown. That leaves our purple. That leaves our gray. And let's see what else we can eliminate. Um, Oh yeah, here we go. I didn't get all of those in that row. So now we have our yellow. 
and we can take away all of that. We have our orange, we have our blue, and we have our red. So that should be it, yeah. Well done, everybody. Yay. She's not doing anything with that, so. <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into some star battles, because I just, I just think they're so fun. Um, I'll do a couple that are one star, so we can kind of see, get some more like LinkedIn queens practice in. But um, again, I'm just holding the space if you want to call in or chat with me about sex and sexuality, about uh, asexuality, about any of these topics or anything that's on your mind. Again, finally, I am uh, Sophie with sexwithsophie.com. I teach people how to talk to each other about sex, whether that's you're trying to talk to your kids, you're trying to talk to people who disagree with you, you're trying to talk to your partner, of course, you're trying to talk to yourself, give yourself some good self-talk. There's plenty of programs and services and uh, community features on sexwithsophie.com to help you with all of those things. So have a look and let's jump into a star battle, which is just queens. So let's see how that looks. Make sure you can see it. Okay. So again, um, the same rules apply. So in the top three rows, you have this uh, just three colors. So anything in those colors outside of those three rows can go because you can only have one star for each row and for each shape. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. In the bottom three rows, these three shapes, pardon me, are solidly within these uh, bottom three rows. So everything outside of those shapes in those bottom three rows can go. Now really quickly, we can't have a star here because that would eliminate this blue cell. Can't have a star here because that would eliminate this uh, gray cell. And let's see what that does. I thought that might give us a three, but we still have these two to worry about. So no. Uh, we can't have anything in this row outside of the orange. And we know that uh, there's a star here or here, so there can't be one next to it. Same now with this yellow. Same now with the green. Same now with the pink, but that's already taken care of. But we can't have anything there. Let's see. So I'm trying to see if there's any other kind of easy eliminations. Now for the the two columns here, first of all, there's only blue in this column, so everything else can go. That means that now the orange has to be here. Uh, so take everything else away around it. The red has to be here, so we can take everything away around it, everything in its row, everything in its column is already removed, and everything else in that red, since we've accounted for that shape, that leaves the pink, that leaves the light blue, take away everything around it and in its row, that leaves the yellow, it's all taken care of, and now the green and the gray are in the rightmost two columns. So we can't have any other color there. So that leaves our purple, which leaves our dark blue, our brown, our gray, and finally our green. That one was nice and tidy. I like it. It was still very slow, sorry. Now that we kind of have the hang of it, I'll try to go a little faster. 
Um, let's do another one star. Oh gosh, 1272 seconds average time. Ugh, let's see how we do. All right, so right away, I'm seeing a little stick. You can't have uh, anything else in that column. We know that we have to have a star here or here, so you can't have one here, so that leaves our first star, the green. So let's take everything away around it in, a, in its row and in its column. Um, the gray can only be here, so we can take away everything else in its column and around it, because there's only three possibilities for where it could be. That leaves our red. So take away everything in its column, everything in its row. That leaves our light blue. Take away everything around it, everything in its column, and everything in that row that leaves our gray. Take away everything around it, everything in its row. Uh, let's see. This column can, or I'm sorry, this row can only be blue. So take everything else away around that, or, or in that column. Take away everything else in that column here, because that can only be brown. Like so. Now the orange can only be in this column, and we can take those away because that would eliminate the shape otherwise. That leaves our pink. Take away everything in its column and in its row. That leaves our dark blue. Take away everything in that column. Uh, let's see. Now we uh, can only have Okay, we can only have yellow and brown here and here. So we know that the purple or violet has got to be here. Let's take away all of that. That leaves our yellow. That leaves our brown. That leaves our orange. Well done. All right, so let's go ahead and move up to a two-star battle. We did that one very fast. Good job. You waking up? Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. And if you want to leave a comment or call in at any time, again, I'm just holding the space for you to uh, chat with me about sex and sexuality, any of these topics here, anything else on your mind, or about puzzles, because I freaking love them. So let's do a 12 by 12 two star, and um, let's see how some of these same rules, rules apply. Uh, not really seeing where I can count down much. I do see a stick here. I've been saying stick, just a single column or row. Because we're looking for two stars, we know that if there's a four by one, we can't have anything around it because there's a star here and a star here. Uh, this is now a three by two, so we can take away the middle of the whole three by two. And that's a star. Whew, I'm tired, mama, sorry. All right, so now this is a three by two. We know there's a star here and here. This is a three by two. So take away the middle, that leaves a star here and here. This is now uh, obvious that the stars can be here and here. There's nothing else in this column because those two are accounted for. So the second star for the green is here. Uh, this is now a three by one. So you take away the middle. That leaves uh, this column complete. Complete. We can only have one uh, star in this yellow, not two. So we must have a star here or here. So let's go ahead and mark that out because we can't have a star, or we can't have two stars, we can only have one star here. Um, but 
because we okay the reason I marked this one out is because if we took away this shape we couldn't fit two in the yellow but because we could fit a star here or and here we can't eliminate this pink just yet because that could also be a star because if that's it then that's that one um, so let's keep looking now the light green and the teal are oh get a little drag on my mouse here something's taking up some energy hey Diggs <laughs> how are you <laughs> um it's good to see you if you have any uh, thoughts on asexuality or any of the topics above let me know otherwise we're just uh, playing some star battles do you enjoy star battles or do you play the little LinkedIn daily games um, I was just saying these uh, light green shape and this teal shape are um, the only things you can have in this two set of two columns or two columns on the right so we can't have the pink there so let's see what we can do I uh, can't have a star here because that would eliminate this entire uh, shape so we couldn't fit two in this same with this one we can't have a star here because that would um, leave only one two by two region and you uh, hear me say all the time you can't have more than one star in any given two by two region um, let's see so if we have uh, one star here there's definitely going to be one pink here so let's see if we can find the other one it's not very obvious so let's keep looking now that we've chunked our little shapes down a little bit more again that's the official term for it chunking um, let's see if we can find any more regions that we can look to uh, eliminate so if we have one two three four different colors let's say five if we have five including the red but we know that the one star is outside of this five column region then we know that there has to be a star here. It could be pink or yellow, but we know that because if we look at the five um, shapes that are within the first five columns, um, that it includes this red shape, and one of its stars is outside of this five column set, so there has to be a star from outside of that column structure in sneaking in here, and so that's that. So there's got to be a star here. So if there's got to be a star here, still no obvious other takeaways, but let's see if we can do some more counting perhaps. Um, so we have one, two, three, four. There we go. We've got four shapes. I'm sorry, four colors solidly within the first um, or the bottom four rows one two three four that light green was sneaking in but those have been eliminated so we can take away everything from those colors that's outside of those four rows so that's good um, let's okay. see Yeah, let me know if anything's jumping out at you. Um, I do notice that the yellow star, uh, the first one has to be here. So we can go ahead and take that away. Um, let's see. This one is a real challenging one. I love it. 
I feel like the harder it is, the more I'm like, yes, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm such a, I'm such a nerd. Oh my god. So in the um, column here, we only have this space and this space, so there's got to be a star here and here. So that completes this shape. Um, so if there's a star here for the light green, the second light green's got to be in this column, of course. Let's see what we can see. All right. So this row is done. I feel like my friend Sophie from Hong Kong would have gotten that right away. Uh, we can take away this whole row because that's complete. Um, let's see. I think I'm really tired. I feel really tired. I notice I start slowing down a little bit when I'm just done. <laughs> but I'm, I'm never too sleepy to talk to you about sex and sexuality if you want to give me a call. Or if you just want to chat about puzzles. That's always fun. I got some great um, pride puzzle packs from uh, again my dear friend Sophie so I can't wait to jump into some of those as well let's see so we have one star here uh, that means that we must have the second star for this row here because you can't fit both in this region so we can go ahead and take away all of that so that leaves this column as being that star so we can take that away and the rest of this column so we know the second star for the gray has to be here so we can take that away um, let's see so now we can only have one star in this lavender so it's got to be here we can take away everything else on that row and the second star will have to be here because you can't you can't fit both of them here. All right. And now remember we found this five column set where the star was outside of it. So we know there has to be a star here. So there cannot be a star here because the second one for the row is is got to be here. Um, so that leaves this one for the gray. And this one for the gray, so we did already account for that and that one. So this has to be the second one for the lavender. So let's take everything away around it. That's the second for the gray and for that row. Okay, I think we're getting close to the end game here. Yeah, so this is the only possibility for this row. And the second one's got to be here. Oh, my doggies. Let's see. So the second, oh, okay, well the star's gotta be here for the yellow. So, let's see. If we have, um, Two, if we have to find four stars all together for this two row region here, then we know there's one here, one here, definitely one here, so that's three. So that means that the second star for this purple has to be here, cannot be in this row, because you need to have um, four in this two row set. So that leaves this pink as the and I, I wouldn't have betted on that. I would have I would have if I had to, to guess, I would have guessed it would have been the yellow, but it's the pink. So that's the second one for this row. That is our final one for this row. Uh, this column is done. So that leaves brown is the only thing that we can have in this row. We can take that away. That's our second light green. 
uh, didn't get that elimination, sorry. So that is the second one for this row and this shape. This column is done. We have, uh, oh, it's not a three by one, but there's our second pink. Uh, we're in the end game now. So this is a three by one, so we can take away the middle. Definitely a star there and there. This column is done, as is this one. And here is our final star. Yay. So fun. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, just do one more. She's still sleeping, so let's let's enjoy it. <laughs> Go ahead and um, again give me a buzz, leave a comment, just like Diggs, by the way, and uh, let me know your thoughts on asexuality during Asexual Awareness Week. And I'm just gonna do another two star because I think this will be my last one today. like I'm starting to lose my voice a touch so sorry about that all right so right away I see that we have two complete shapes in the top two uh, rows so we could take away everything outside of those excuse me I'm so uncouth I see a lot of three B's over here so we have a three by three here we can take away the middle three by three here we can take away the middle. Now we can't have a star here because in this three by one, uh, if we if we had stars here or here and eliminated this, we couldn't put two stars in this section because again, our two by twos can only contain one star. Now this four B, we can take all that away because uh, if you break it into two by twos, again, you can't have stars there. Let's see. Now, since we definitely have a star here, that means that we can't fit both of these stars on this row. So we're gonna have to have at least one here so we can't have a star there because that would eliminate that. Um, let's start counting up our shapes and see if there's anything else we can take away kind of easily. These are really spread out, so I don't know if we will. <sighs> so sorry very tired so let's see if we have one two three four um, this guy is kind of sneaking out and making it difficult for us to assess the bottom four rows mm. I feel like I'm missing something I feel like there's something I'm not seeing. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, this one is tricky. Okay, I love it. Let's see. Now, because there has to be at least what you know there's at least one star here and there's at least one star here let's see so if we had a one star here that means you of course have to have this one so that tracks um and then with the one star here that's that's neither here nor there. So, blah, blah, that didn't help anything, sorry. Let's see, just kind of talking out loud. I'm trying to still see if there's any counts that we could do. Um, there cannot be a star here. If we took away this shape, we could fit two stars in this bit right here. Um, Let's see. Boom. 
This one is tricky. Let's see, we got the one here. We could still have two here. I feel like there's some counts I'm missing. One, two. Let's look at this one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's just this little guy here. It's like fucking it up for everybody. Let's see. Huh. One, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's no way around it, really. Um, ooh, seven, seven. In these seven rows, we have seven different colors. Oh my gosh, this one was tricky. This one was tricky. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in these seven rows, we have orange, yellow, green, pink, red, brown, and blue. So we can't have anything outside of these seven rows. Wow. I don't think I've ever had to count in the middle and that much just to get to some eliminations here. But so that means that our two stars are definitely here for the blue. And we can take everything else in this blue out because we know they can't go past that. Plus this pink can't have that past the seven row mark here. Oh, that was so cool. Oh. That was cool. So we can't have one here because that would eliminate this and we couldn't fit two in the red. Uh, we know that our stars for this row are here and here. So there's, uh, yeah, that tracks one, two, three, four. Man, that was crazy. Oh, I love stuff like that. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, um, with this one, we can't have a star here because that would eliminate this shape and we couldn't fit uh, two here. So since we know that the red has to have a star here and here, if we look at our two by two regions, can't have a star here. So now the pink is a three by two. So we could take away the middle, definitely a star here. And as much as I'm geeking out right now, you feel free to interrupt me at any time. You can call in or leave a comment and I will uh, certainly uh, a answer and chit chat with you about sexy times or about asexuality or anything else that's on your mind. That is this row complete and that shape complete. We know that's there. We already knew that. Um, man, this was fun. So since this is the uh, red stars, second star, we can take everything else in that column away. Uh, definitely a star here. Let's see. Now this one is a 4B like this guy, so we can take away everything there. Um, so again, gray star, gray star. Let's see. Sorry. Now, since there can, uh, 
there has to be two stars in this five cell line. We can actually take away the second and fourth stars or, or uh, boxes around it. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. Because uh, if you had stars there, you'd eliminate uh, your ability to have two stars in the shape. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> that chunked our orange down, but didn't really help us too much. Um, now with this one, we have a star here. <sighs> so sorry. So that means we can't fit two in this three by one part. So we have to have a star here. And then we know that everything else in this column, I'm sorry, in this row can go because that first star has to be here. So we can take that away and that away because we have to have a star here. So that leaves our pink there, our red there. This column is good. Um, yeah, can't have a star here. Okay. Let's see what else we can see. So since we have to have a star here, we can take away everything else in that row. This column is complete. So now we know there's a star here for sure. There has to be a star here because you can't fit both of the lavender ones there. So the second star for that one is here. We can take away all of that. Now we have a three by two. We can take away the middle and there are your stars for that one. Uh, this, oh, that could be green, so no. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really flag it. Yeah, this is going to be our last one. Oh, so sorry. Okay, definitely a star here. So there's definitely a star here. Can't have anything else in that column. There's our second star for that column. So now we have a 4B, 4 by 2 So there's one here and one here for sure. All right. Oh boy, I'm tired. Now let's just look at our count real quick. We know there's two stars in the screen, definitely one in the gray, definitely this lavender one. So we're on the right track, but gotta keep moving because there's not really any eliminations we can make from that. Um, nope. Oh, so sorry. Goodness gracious. I am so tired. So look, just looking at this set of two, we know there's definitely two for the uh, orange. And then there's only room for this one and this one. So the yellow, one of the yellows has to be here and one of the greens has to be here. So if the other one has to be here, then just something to keep in mind, but not really helping us right now. My brain is just off, y'all. So sorry. Um...
I'm so sleepy. I really want to finish this though. Okay, so the, the violet can only be in this row, so it can't have that one there. So our two are going to be here and here for sure. Um, let's see. There's definitely a green there. One, two. Hmm. So if there's one, two, three, four, definitely one there. Yeah, it's still not helping us. I'm trying to look at two rows at a time because they have to have four stars in them to try to see uh, what I can start eliminating. But it's just not very helpful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So one, two, three. Um, if we have one star here, and in this set of two columns, we know there can be at most two in this yellow region, and we need four, that means that this has to be the fourth star for this set of two columns, and that we cannot have anything outside of the yellow uh, outside of those two columns. So that leaves our orange here. That takes away a lot of stuff, goodness. Um, our second orange is here. So the other one for that row has got to be there. Um, oh my goodness, I'm so tired. So sorry, I'm being so rude. Um, let's see. So there's definitely one, only one here. Or here. Yeah, I'm still not getting anything. One, two, three, four. It could be that one. Boo. Um, let's see. Um, just trying to look at my rows and columns yeah here we go so in this column we can complete that column there that whole shape is complete so here's the second for that brown here's the first for the brown one two so one two three four we knew that so there's only one here so there's one two three possibilities here so there has to be one here or here so we cannot have one here because that would eliminate both of these cells same here you have to have at least one here so you can't have one there because that would eliminate both of those cells so now we know where our greens are. And we can take away that row. That's the cuckoo, like uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> I heard a reporter say, that was kind of cool. It was like, Elon Musk is a cuckoo because he doesn't actually build anything. He just pays off the founders who did build something like Tesla, SpaceX, uh, and, and pays to put himself as the founder of it 
And so, yeah, I was like, that's a pretty apt analogy. So, yeah, now we're in the final bits here. And I can go take a nap. <laughs> All right, last one is here. That was very slow. I'm so sorry. But we did about average, not too shabby. All right, and so with that, <laughs> um, I'll be back tomorrow. If you would like to call in or chat, um, I've also been posting these on YouTube and just my kind of consolidated final thoughts on Instagram and LinkedIn, which you can find me as uh, Sex with Sophie, SX uh, with Sophie. Um, but yeah, that's it for me today. It was so nice to meet some cool asexual celebrities and icons and characters with you today. And wow, she slept the whole time. That's amazing. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.